girls, the gays, the theys, and thems. My name is Francia Cruz. My pronouns are she, her, they, them, ella, ellas. And today I'm going to be filming a get together with me dash Q&A video answering some of the questions of why I'm starting a YouTube channel. And I hope that all of you can join me on this journey. Makeup. I want to make a quick public service announcement. I am not a makeup artist. I am not a makeup guru. So this is just what works for me and this is my routine that I have adapted. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I do my eyebrows first and I'm going to go ahead and start concealing them. So this is a new technique that I've adapted. Um, and like I said, this is going to be me answering some questions um, so that you all can get to know me a little bit better and so that we um, you know, all can get started on this journey together. So first and foremost, para los que no me conocen, uh, my name is Francia Cruz. I'm 26. Um, I was originally born in um, Toluca, Mexico, and I was raised in Los Angeles, California. I know that this is also the first time that a lot of you are seeing my hair this color. I've never done anything to my hair, so obviously this is a dramatic and drastic change. So huge shout out to my sister. I'm like really proud of how it came out, so I'm like really, really excited for that. So like I said, I'm gonna um, be concealing my eyebrows first. For my eyebrows, yeah, I just kind of follow the shape that's already there in place. My eyebrows are never even. I only started doing my makeup once I started going to college. Um, for any of you, if you're watching my video and you were, went to high school with me, y'all know, I was like, I mean, I still am, but always super full on guy, you know. I, I never did my makeup. I never did my hair. I currently just finished my bachelor's degree. Um from the University of California, Santa Cruz. I was able to meet some of my um, best friends and I'm really, really grateful for that um, opportunity that UC Santa Cruz gave me. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in my eyebrows now. I know it looks a little up, um, but it's okay. They're gonna get fixed. Um, so. I'm gonna take my um, Anastasia Red and Heels, so como se llame? No way, no sé. And I'm gonna start with the line under and I'm yeah, I hate doing my eyebrows. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's so hard. They're never the same. Like, you know what's so funny? Like, I used to have caterpillar eyebrows. Like, I recently came across a Snapchat video of or a picture of me with my makeup done. And I was like, who the fuck allowed me to go out like this? Honestly, it looked like I had caterpillars on my face. Like, that's how bad it looked. But, like, I can say I've been, you know, doing a little better now with makeup, if I'm being honest. I mean, I still have a lot of work to do because I don't usually know what I'm doing, you know? You see? They're like not even, anyways, but where you want to get your little brush, I don't know what this is called. I just brush those eyebrows out. And there you have it. There are my eyebrows. I like to go ahead and um, with my finger, just run through the concealer so that it's like blended in nicely. From the top, make it just, let's All right, guys, my eyebrows are done. Um, I know they're not that even. Um, they look pretty good though, nobody can tell me otherwise. Next question is, what do i love about myself and one of the things that i really love about myself and um anybody who knows me can hopefully attest to this is that i am super straight up with people like i like to consider myself a very real genuine person and sometimes they could bite me in the ass because then people maybe don't like that one of the things that i say i would have to work on is just my approach with different people but you can always expect the truth from me because i hope that in return you would do the same with me so that is something that i really love about myself next question what is something that motivates me my family is my biggest motivator and why i'm doing what i'm doing why i continue to do what i'm doing why i continue um thriving in institutions that, that weren't made for me another thing that motivates me a lot is my ruka so my rukas are my group of friends who i usually hang out with um, they know who they are you know who you are they are some of my biggest motivators like they really just push me to do better. They push me to want better for myself. I love every single one of them. And if I'm thriving, they're thriving, right? Um, a lot of you might not know this, but YouTube is something that I really been wanting to do for a really, really long time. But I was always so afraid of what people might say. And you know, I didn't um, take a chance with myself. So 
I told myself, you know what, I'm already 26 years old. If I didn't do it this time around, then that was it. I would give it up, you know? And I couldn't see myself doing that without giving it a try. I didn't want to go throughout life looking back and saying like I could have done something with that and I didn't give myself the opportunity to do it. So that's what motivates me. Damn, I'm already looking hella, mmm, cute patootie. Bitch swear. For today's eye look, I am gonna do something quick and simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush. Please don't judge my brushes. I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyelids really quick. Like I said, this is something that works for me. You don't necessarily have to do the same. So yeah. What is my favorite food? So back when I was living with my parents, I never cooked. So, <clears throat> when we moved in together, I would always call my mom. Like, mama, mama, cuál, um, ¿qué tienes que hacer para esto? ¿Qué tienes, qué tienes que comprar para el otro, right? So I was always like calling her and asking her. Like and so my mommy was so cute, always on the phone with us, like letting us know, like, oh, you need to comprar esto. You, you put it in the stufa for this long, and then you do this. So she would always give us the instructions, right? And in that process, I learned to cook a lot of food. So I would say that my favorite dish is enchiladas verdes. Oh my God, yeah. I love enchiladas verdes so much, and they're so, so good. I just, mmm. So now I know how to make them. It's cool because when I was in school, I would wait to go back home and eat all the yummy food my mommy was making. But I had to learn how to cook and now my favorite dish to make and to eat is enchiladas verdes. So your girl can become a wifey already. No ma'am. The next thing is talking about why I'm doing YouTube. So like I mentioned earlier, I didn't really want to go through life without giving myself an opportunity to do this. You know, for one reason or another, I always just kind of spooked myself out of it. And like, you know, I always told myself like, oh, why are you going to do that? Like, what are people going to say? And things of that sort. But this time around, I said, I'm not going to let that affect me anymore. And and now we're here. Now we're filming my video. And, um, you know, it's taken me a while to get here, but I'm here. And that's what matters. I have to say I love doing eyeliner, but it has to be one of my less favorite things to do because oh, it's so tedious. Like if you mess up on one side, then you're gonna try to fix it on the other and then you're gonna mess it up there. It's always a loose, loose situation here. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this, okay, y'all? And I always get so excited of how the first one comes out because I'm like, damn, you know, that shit looks so good. Tani, once you try to do the other one, it never usually comes out the same. <laughs> Just when I thought I was doing good. <laughs> oh, I usually do powder contour or contour, look se diga. ¿Qué dijo? So, yeah. We went to this place in Tostadas and it's in San Jose, California. Lo único que les diría es que... Uh, manden a alguien a que se espere mientras las viejas se arreglan, las homegirls, las rucas en la casa se están arreglando. Manden a sus hijos. Mándenos para que ellos se aparten del lugar porque... Mm -mm, it takes way too long. ¿Y luego qué? Van a venir y van a decir, oh, Francia recommended this place and it's not even good. We had to wait so long. Y yo no me voy a hacer responsable, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you right now. Yo, nada más estar dando una recomendación. Si quieren ir, vayan. Y si no, pues no vayan. Nadie los obliga. I, honestly, cuando hago esto, I don't like to leave it on for too long. Porque no quiero quedar como ghost. De por sí ya estoy un poquito blanca. Y, pues no, ¿me entiendes? No, no me gusta quedar así. Sí o no, ladies. Then agarro una brochita and I do the same thing. Pero lo hago para mi nariz. Y como dije, yo no soy experta en esto. Van a querer a venir a decirme que no sé usar brochas o lo que sea. O que esa brocha no es para eso. Porque te estoy diciendo que no sé usar las brochas bien. Nada más la hago, mira. Desde acá arribita hasta abajo de mi nose. Y luego lo mismo en el otro lado. Sí, y luego la hago aquí. Rapidín. Okay. Y luego lo que sigue. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my blush really quick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do some highlight. Thank you all for tuning in and seeing what my first video was about. I'm just giving it a shot, you know. What else do I gotta lose? Tell me. 
if 2020 taught me anything was to really just don't hold back on things just because you're afraid of what people are going to say, you know? Because at the end of the, the day, like, whoever is going to... Whoever matters doesn't mind, and whoever mind doesn't matter. Period! 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 You know? And so that's what I always say. Mind over matter, baby. Okay, Poseidon. I'm going to put this I'm scared. the mascara and now i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to put on my lashes so i am gonna be using Justine's lashes in the style bebecita today so i'm gonna go ahead and like i said attempt to put them on pero miren que bonito se ven Now, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lip liner. Do any of you overline your lips? I recently started overlining them. Para verme más trompuda, you know? Me daba pena que la gente se iba a reír because I overlined them. Pero everyone does it. ¿Qué les dije? Me miro más trompuda, no? All right, um, if you've already made it this far to the video, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you all had fun. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you all in my next video.